Yeah, man. So uh, I know we we hit on it a little bit yes last episode or whatever mm-hmm. I was gonna say yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, so how do you feel about? I, I guess just your kids working because we ain't gonna talk about everybody's kids they ain't ours because fuck them kids. How do you feel about <laughs> how you feel about your kids work? Uh, so it's weird um, because if you know you go by, I worked in high school, I worked in college, and I came out okay. Mm-hmm. Um. I didn't work the first year. I didn't, or did I work the second year? I can't remember. I think I started tutoring the second year. And then um, by the third and fourth year, I had like all the jobs. So I think I had three while I was in school. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was working in the mall. I was doing research with a professor and I tutored. So yeah. So I worked pretty much through college with a full course load and my grades were fine. Um, And then in high school, I worked and I mean, from 16 on, well, from 14, unofficially I worked, but then officially I worked on at the good old Bilo. So I've seen studies that say that students that work from home, students that work while in school, they end up doing better in the mm-hmm. long run. And I mean, I kind of see that because you kind of are forced to take on responsibilities and shit like that. Yeah, And you have to prioritize, you know, what's important, what's not important and all that shit. Thinking about my kids. I don't know. I mean, it, it's interesting because on the other side of the spectrum, Kim, Kim never worked in school. Mm-hmm. She didn't. I mean, her mom had a business. So, you know, she worked in the shop, you know, sometimes I think some from time to time. I don't know how much she did, but I know during the holidays and shit, she worked, too. So, I mean, her parents were always of the opinion of like, um, you know, your job your school is your job and they even told that to me when i started working um they were like you know school is your job and you should focus all your time and energy on that and i mean and that's there, there's logic to that too i mean because you know if you want them to be in school and do the extracurricular activities and all mm-hmm. that shit then working gets in the way of all of that i mean because i know when i was in high school in particular um a lot of the, I mean, I did a lot of extracurricular activities, too, but there were times where I couldn't do it because I had to go to work. Mm -hmm. Um, Man, same in college, you know, certain things you couldn't do because you had to go to work. Everybody's going to the club. They stop by and see me working in the mall like, hey, we're going to the club. We'll see you. But luckily, (laughs) I mean, there was plenty of times where I run home, take a shower real quick and get to the club, too. But um, yeah, long fucking days, things you can do when you're young. And so, right. <laughs> shit. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I think it depends on the child. I think you can't. I don't think it's right to just, um, you know, carte blank say you're 16, you need to work. And because I mean, true, if they're struggling in school too and they need extra help, that should be focused on because I think school should always be. And mom made it that way too. School was always the first priority. But if you wanted to work, you could. And I mean, I think that's the approach I'll take. Um, school, both college, if they decide to go in high school are the priority and then anything work is kind of secondary. So, I mean, luckily thankful for Simone and Lamar Jr. By the time they get old enough to work, they won't have to work for the things that they want and need as much as I did, you know? So, I mean, that, that's kind of a fortunate thing. So it'll be more of a choice and getting them ready for that uh, that opportunity. Um, I wouldn't mind if they look into like maybe starting a little side hustle. Now mm-hmm. that I'd be all for, but a job, eh, I'm not necessarily sold. Um, I don't necessarily want to force them, but they won't be sitting around lazy. And I think I saw something on the news one day where they, this dude is like 30 and the parents like had to go to court. To oh get yeah, him. I remember that. You saw that yeah. shit? Had they to go to court. Him. Yeah, to get him out. Mm-hmm. I, ain't no fucking way. Now, I'm all for supporting my children, but you're going to have to get your grown ass and get it because that ain't it. You no, know. I remember what it was. He sued them mm, because, because they kicked him out. That he was trying to bring a girl over. Mm. And they was like, no. Nah. And so he felt like they was violating his personal space or mm-hmm. some shit like that. So he See, sued them. And that's the crazy shit, because once I got the first taste of being on my own, 
I love man. I was like, you know what? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. uh Come and go as you please. Mine was a little forced, but I still yeah. enjoyed it. I mean, but yeah, you, you still got that taste of wow. I mean, Bill suck ass, but you still got that freedom of like, um, wow. This is good shit. My shit. Yeah. So I just warn everybody, I don't have a smoke machine going in the side. Like I said, allergies. My wife is the oil sage, so I've got a diffuser of essential oils coming to the right and the cigar smoke coming on the left. She ain't the sage, bro. She the fucking wizard king, and you know it. You, you know, know what? It. <laughs> she has a grip for all my anime heads. My sister-in-law got the whole grim war over there. Man. Well, if you want to know who the wizard king is, check episode 40. Oh, he yeah. was in my anime. Time Rock magic. This. Yeah, so, yeah, she does. So, what do you think? Um... You've got teenagers, you've got young kids, you've got boys, you've got girls. I mean, again, when it comes to these issues with kids, I mean, do you want a spreadsheet? I mean, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually on Google Docs right now. I believe I it. Spread it out a little bit. But, um, you know, how I personally feel, you know, and like you was kind of saying, the only difference is, you know, our experiences when we got to that age to work as teenagers was slightly different. Sure. So, you know what I'm saying? It was to the point where I felt like I had to work. And with yes, um, did. the the kids in general, yeah, I feel like they should work. Now, I mean, it, it for me, it prepared me for the real world. You know what I'm saying? You can't just have everything handed to you. Sometimes you got to go out and get what you want and it makes you appreciate the shit that you have more because you're actually working for that shit you're working for that check you know what i'm saying but like you only thing i agree with you i agree with your point on you know what i'm saying they're trying to do extracurricular activities their grades is you know crushing you know what i'm saying I, i'm a little bit lenient you know what i'm saying i could be a little lenient all right cool i see you doing this you're doing that you're doing this but you know what i'm saying if you're just doing a bare minimum no extracurriculars nothing mm-hmm. like that but you want something you gonna have to take your way to work sorry it, it, it builds character. It really and truly fucking builds character. I mean, like yeah, you said, oh, it does. Been, it does. You've been working unofficially since 14. I think I started cutting grass and shit like 11, 12, washing mm-hmm. cars. You know what I'm saying? So they were selling fucking candy at the, <laughs> in middle school. Selling oh, see, I, I, I didn't count that because. Yeah, I, oh, it's work. <laughs> I mean, shit, I had to hustle in sixth grade going strong. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. I, I really feel like they, they should work. You know what I mean? Because I don't want mine to feel entitled. I want them to say, yeah, my daddy got me. However, I got myself too. That's good. Now, now, in your case, you know, you'll be retired. You know, you'll be a little further along. And, you know, everything will be set for you personally in your own household and everything like that with your bills and your um, just all your finances and stuff. So you'll be in a place where uh, Simone and L Boogie can, you know, work it work if they want to. But since I have mine young, I'm still trying to build my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't just throw this money here, throw this money here, throw this money there. Sorry, mm-hmm. you're gonna have to work. Now I ain't saying you gotta fucking work the whole 40 hours a week, no shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? If you're working, you say, okay, like Tangi, she's working or about to start working. And if when she's ready to get a car, same for Drake, same for Shania, Keontae, Kevion. If they want to get like a car, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give you, I'll match whatever you got. I'm just not gonna pay for the whole thing for you. Mm-hmm. Sorry, not gonna do. It. Yeah, man, that that's pretty much it, man. Cut and dry. I think they, I think kids should work. Mm-hmm. I feel like they should work if, unless, like I said, if they plan, if they playing football, cheerleading, they're really, really serious about that. Maybe want to take it to the next level type shit then cool but i don't want them to feel like they're so obligated to this job like right. they got kids and real bills to pay and shit mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and um i think what bobo does has done with he is is a real good thing too because once they get to that age and they start um they're able to work he pretty much assigns them a bill like the cheapest bill of the house you know to mm-hmm. get them kind of accustomed to paying uh, a bill he he does that, which I don't think sure. is a bad idea either. I know some people are like, oh hell no, but you know everybody parenting style is different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I we do all prepare. actually kind of like that. I'll tell you my yeah. thoughts in a second. We all prepare our kids for the real world differently. 
some don't prepare them at all and they end up fucked up out here. So that that's really all I got, man. Um you you had something to say about the idea that, that Unc does? Yeah, I was kind of I had two things based on what, okay. what you were saying. Is one, so you mentioned Unc has them pay a bill. I kind of like that idea. And I mean, they can do that with uh any allowance, any side money, anything like mm-hmm. that, like a little thirty dollar bill or something like that. But I think what I'll do is take that money and not necessarily apply it to a bill per se, mm-hmm. but put it in like a custodial account and like put yeah. it in like a index fund. So when they're like, oh, here's, you know, two years at $30 a month, you know, it's $5,000. Look at that. You know, yeah. here's your money for your little beater card. But hell, by then you can't do shit with $5,000 on the car, I bet. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of the approach I take. So I'll borrow some of that, but kind of tweak it just a little bit with what I do with it. Um, and then you meant now if they want to work and everything's cool, then by all means, if you want to try working, go for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm okay with that. Um, also, and then it too depends on the kind of work and talking college now, if they decide mm-hmm. to go to college, um, if they do like, like I did research with my professors and i did i tutored so that was work officially but i mean that's shit that went on the resume that's uh shit that i learned like some of the shit that i did research on comes up in my day-to-day well used to come up in my day-to-day job so it was kind of relevant then so that's kind of cool and that's kind of a slight little aside to it but you said that um they'll appreciate the things that they get when they've earned it do you feel that without them having a job, do you feel that there's a way to get them to a point to say, and, and I think I know the answer because you mentioned it last week with uh, Keontae, um, to get them to understand the value of a dollar and how to appreciate what they get, what they buy without having to work and earn it? Yes. But at the same time, like you said with Keontae, he worked. His grandmama would give him like I think like twenty dollars per A or something like that. So he had to go and bust his ass at school still to to stack that money up. Yeah. And so that goes to the school is your job approach. But go ahead. True. Um, to my point, while I was mentioning earlier, as far as them appreciating by working, there's nothing like you physically buying that shit with your own fucking money. You'll appreciate sure. something more than something that I've bought you or your mom has bought you, something mm-hmm. like that, something that you actually bought. Like, you know, it's the kind of, it's the, well, shit, I ain't buy it. I ain't worrying about it first. No, I spent my money on that. I ain't gonna let that get for, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I so that's that. what I mean by, I get. I think they'll appreciate it more it coming out of their own pockets. Mm-hmm. And, and it's been proven, you know, Kevondre had to buy something of his own once or twice. And, you know, he took care of it more than he other stuff. He that uh, Gucci belt. Or a nah, backpack, nah, sorry. Nah. Or the sock. Or the one sock. <laughs> he can get the G in Gucci. <laughs> yeah, that's man. It. But but yeah, that, that's really what I think, man. And by the way, shout out to all my children, man, especially my oldest two, because they they're approaching this adult world before the other three are. And they're really kind of taking it in stride and they're they're doing the best they can with the, the hand they've been dealt so far. So mm-hmm. shout out to my children. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.